One day, while discussing what ATV manufacturer might step up and be the next to build a full-size adult sport ATV. The head editor at Dirt Wheels Magazine mentioned Chinese manufacturer Kao as a brand to watch. In the US, Kao currently offers a wide range of small to mid-sized sport ATVs ranging between 70 and 200 cc's. Overseas, they offer an A300 model that would certainly be a welcomed addition to the US market. In many riders' opinions, a true sport ATV should have a manual clutch equipped manual shift transmission, be chain driven, have separate front and rear brakes, and some would even insist it have a solid rear axle. The KO Jackal 200 possesses all of these, making it a compact, smaller displacement, true sport ATV. Dirt Wheels Magazine had many positive things to say about the KO Jackal 200 in their September 2020 test. You can read their full article on the Jackal 200 at dirtwheelsmag.com. Based on everything we'd heard, we felt that KO was worth a serious look, so we lined up a Jackal 200 for testing. Our local KO dealer, Octane Allen of Eastgate, was happy to provide us with a walk around prior to pickup. Hello, my name is Jared. I'm here with the Octane Allen of Eastgate, and today we're here with ATV On Demand to go over the Jackal 200 from the KO lineup. We brought the KOs in for one big reason. There's been a lack of availability still with the youth type of lineup leading up to the young adult. KO has really supplemented this piece of inventory to really help out this market currently. And one of the big reasons we decided to go with the KO out of all brands is a few different things here. Parts availability. You can actually order parts through the dealership, which usually on a Chinese brand you cannot do. Also, you can actually take your KO, bring it here, and we service them here. And so far, we've been carrying the KOs for about a year now. We've been selling their ATVs and their pit bikes, and no major issues has arrived. Customer feedback is really good. The Jackal 200 is the biggest ATV that KO offers. This guy is going to be a 199cc air-cooled engine. It also has an oil cooler on there. Going to the back, it's also very easy maintenance. You have one little lever back here, pops the seat right off. Battery, easy to get to, and also toolless entry to the air filter. No tools needed. All right, guys. And snapping the seat back on. Final drive is provided through a chain in the back here. It has a roundhouse style chain adjustments, which makes life a lot easier, especially for all you dads out there. All right, and this machine right here is carbureted. You have your choke down below here, your fuel on and off switch right here, and probably the best thing is a nice and easy electric start. All right, guys, and cluster is very simple on this guy, very true to regular sports quads. You have an indicator light for neutral and also an indicator light for reverse. The KO comes in relatively light for its class at 364 pounds. The chassis is a lightweight steel tubular design. Up front is a double A-arm front suspension and the back a rear solid axle with a swing arm. At 43 and a half inches wide with a 42.9 inch wheelbase, the KO is a bit wider and shorter than the Honda TRX250X. Its 31.4 inch seat height is identical. And while KO doesn't list any specs for the suspension travel, just pushing down on this machine, we're fairly confident that this has more suspension travel than even the DS250 or the Honda 250X. Another cool thing, it has preload adjustment front suspension and even in the rear. There's also a few more features I wanted to point out that KO has added to this machine that kind of increases performance and desirability, if you will. Lightweight tire and wheel setup, of course, increasing acceleration, braking, all that fun stuff as you normally would have in a sport quad, your heel protectors here. And these guys even have a Nerf bar right here. So of course, if you're driving in the woods, protect you from trees or maybe even other ATV riders. And lastly, very race inspired taper handlebars up top and even a very nice aluminum clamp that goes on the handlebar as well. All right, and for the guys that want to get the most out of the money, you ride 24 seven day and night. They have included a pair of working headlights, also a rear working taillight as well. And younger riders, if you're looking for a bike to save up for, or even parents that are looking to get an ATV for their young adult or teenager that don't want to spend $10,000, the KO Jackal 200 comes in at a very reasonable price of $3,699. And guys, be sure to check out ATV On Demand's test ride of this guy. 
Go subscribe, hit that little notification bell so you don't miss it. Also, if you're in the greater Cincinnati area and you're interested in checking out the KO's whole lineup, even their dirt bikes or pit bikes, please come see us here at the Octane Alley of Eastgate or feel free to give us a call at 513-718-0916.